Trump votes as well here. Uh, you, you have just heard uh, from uh, the Speaker of the House. And just to recap here, in case you've just joined us in the last few minutes, the president has been meeting with House Democrats today to sort of uh, rally the troops. A very key moment coming later today uh, when they vote on the House version of health care reform. Now Democrats are coming to the microphone to talk about uh, how they want to go forward today. The Speaker of the House making the point that they do have the votes. Uh, they're sounding very optimistic that they, they're going to have this uh, legislation passed today. Uh, last night that was not at all clear. They were still a, a few votes short. But Democrats believe is increasingly optimistic as they go forward that they will have the votes to pass this legislation. Let's listen in again. Again, my apologies to Steny Hoyer for stepping on him with my communications to the control room. That was John Larson finishing up there. Here's Clyburn one more time. Javier Becerra. Javier Becerra is coming to the microphone. The President now. of the United States urged us as Americans and as the privileged elected representatives of all Americans in this country to be on the right side of history. It's a glorious day to write a page of American history, and that's what we intend to do. I'd now like to introduce the assistant to the speaker, Chris Van Hollen. Uh, thank you, uh, Javier. Uh, this is a historical moment, and as the speaker uh, pointed out, it is the third anniversary since the day that the Democrats took back uh, the majority in the House, and we would not be at this juncture uh, had it not been for the confidence of the American people. And in the last election, uh, the President and members of Congress running said, we're no longer going to sweep our problems under the rug. It's time to confront uh, the main challenges uh, we confront in this history. And just uh, this past week, uh, there were only two campaigns around the country where the questions that we're deciding here in Congress uh, and the question of health care reform were at the center of the campaigns. And there were only two candidates in this country who were running who would have a vote in working with President Obama and the Speaker of the House and the Democratic majority in making a change in health care. Those two candidates were both Democrats and the American people in those districts voted uh, for both of them. Uh, and it was in one case a district where you had not had a Democrat uh, for more than 150 years, about the time, a uh, little about since the time of the Civil War, Bill Owens. Uh, and so those members are both here. They're joining with the President and the Democratic leadership to cast their votes today for health care reform. And those are the most recent votes and signals and messages sent by the American people on this very important issue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Any questions? Do you anticipate that the Stupac Amendment will pass today? Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, I expect for it to, to be introduced. I think it's Stupac, Pitch, and uh, uh, Ellsworth. Uh, uh, we plan to vote on them, and um, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to predict. Uh, I think all of you know that I never give out numbers. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Some Democrats said that you were furious. Some, Demo some of your Democratic colleagues said you were furious that the Stupac Amendment is being, is being included. Is that the case? No, I, I, I was part of recommending that it be uh, come to the floor as an amendment. Uh, that both sides are whipping, the pro-choice side and others who want to support the amendment. But no, that was my recommendation uh, to allow a vote on that amendment. Did the President's appearance make a difference in uh, helping get some of your final votes that you need? Well, I think you'd made a difference in um, helping us come together as a caucus. I don't know uh, that it would uh, uh, do anything about adding to the numbers. It, uh, we were here today uh, to, for the president uh, to speak to the uh, our whip meeting uh, about um, the whole issue. And we expect uh, for um, uh, the energy that he brought to this debate to be helpful uh, to us on the floor. Uh, but I have not counted uh, anything about numbers that he would add to it. Wouldn't that sort of, to some degree, defeat the purpose of the meeting? I'm sorry? Wouldn't that, to some degree, defeat the purpose of the meeting? I mean, uh, I mean... Defeat it, the purpose of the meeting for doing what? Defeat the purpose of the meeting to have him up here to maybe help bring across those final... Uh, no, why would that defeat the purpose of the meeting? The president's been with us many times before. Uh, this is... <laughs> 
my Lord, he's been to whip meetings before, he's been to caucus meetings before. Uh, we ask the president to join us whenever we think uh, uh, we need to um, uh, come together as a caucus and to um, uh, focus on each other's common agenda. I just, Thank, yeah. I, I just want to make a comment on that. The president came to emphasize how important this is. He campaigned for over a year and he told the American people, we're going to make health care affordable and available for every American. He came here today to say, this is what we said we will do. Let's do it. We're going to. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker.